Okay, students, in the video before we, we were drawing Venn diagrams, but we drew Venn diagrams with only one set. So now we're going to look at drawing a Venn diagram that has two sets and the universal set. Okay, so let us look at the instructions and it says draw a Venn diagram to represent the following information. Universal set is the set of counting numbers less than 10. Set A is the set of odd numbers less than 6. And set B is prime numbers less than 10. So if we look at this question, we realize that they have not told us exactly what, who, what the members of this set are, these sets are. So we're going to have to figure that out, okay? So let's start by talking about the universal set here. Counting numbers less than 10. All right, so counting numbers less than 10 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We would not include 10 because 10 is not less than 10. Okay? All right, let us look at word members for odd numbers less than 6. Odd numbers less than 6. What is an odd number? I don't have to go through that. I think you know that already. And the odd numbers less than 6. Is 1 an odd number? Yes. 1, 3, and 5. All right? And what are the prime numbers less than 10? Is 1 a prime number? No. So we start at 2, 3, 5, 7. Is 9 a prime number? Sometimes that one always tricks us up, but 9 is not a prime number. So it's 2, 3, 5, and 7 are the prime numbers less than 10. Okay, so now we're going to start constructing or drawing our Venn diagram. The first thing we need to put in is the universal set. And remember, we do that um, by drawing, oops, I don't know what that is. Let us delete that. We don't need that. Um, by drawing a rectangle. So here's our rectangle, and that is a universal set. So we're going to label it universal set, okay? All right, we do not start by putting in the members of the universal set first. What we have to do is put in the members of the sets, set A and set B, and then we see um, how we're going to finish off the universal set. So we notice we have two sets, and therefore we need two ovals. And we also know that there are members that are in set A that are also in set B. So we know that we have to make those two ovals overlap. Okay, so we're going to draw those two ovals within the universal set. And we are going to make them overlap. All right. And what I mean by overlap is that one crosses over the other one so that we know that there's a space. There's this little part here in the middle. There's a little part here in the middle that overlaps. Okay, so the next thing we're going to have to do is label our sets. So let us label this one on the left. Let us label this one A, and this one on the right, we're going to label B. Okay, so now we already identified that three and seven are members of both sets. So we are going to put the three and the five here in the where where the two sets intersect or where they overlap because when we put them there you realize that the three and the five are in set a and they're also in set b okay and what i what i like to do is to cross them off because i know i've put those already and i also cross them off of at the universal set because i've put them in my diagram and i don't want to make a mistake and write them a second time Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at set A. What other member of set A is there that we need to put in? And we notice here there's a 1. So we need to put 1 in set A. And then I would go and cross it off because I put it on my diagram and I cross it off. Up. All right, now we look at set B. Are there any members that we have not put in yet? We haven't put in 2, nor have we put in 7. So we're going to put two and seven and we're also going to cross them off to make sure we know that we have put them in the diagram already two and seven so we know what to do all right so what we've done already is completely 
put in put all the members for set A and we put all the members, oops, we put all the members for set B. Now we have to look at the universal set. Are there any members up there that we have not put in? Let us look. There's four, there's six, there's an eight, and there is nine. So we now have to go and put those members in. But where should we put those? We have to remember that they are not in set A and they're not in set B, so we're going to have to put them on the outside. So we're going to have to put four, and we can put them anywhere as long as they're in this rectangle but outside of the circle, four, six, eight, and nine. So we put them there and we can cross them off, all right? My suggestion also to you would be to count how many members are in the universal set and ensure that you have the same amount of members in your diagram, in your Venn diagram. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have all our members, so we know that we are correct. Okay, I hope this helps.